Well, hello once again, all my loyal YouTube subscribers, and thanks for returning to Classic Dirt Bike TV. Now, once more, I've been trawling through my video archives and I've found another old classic to share with you all. And this particular machine is a bike that uh, could never be mistaken as a garage queen or concourse winner purely because of its condition. But back in their day, these were still a very decent bike and very quick uh, to boot. So let's just take a quick browse over Tom Noble's uh, 1986 GM 500 Michael. Now this featured bike of Tom's, as you can see, is uh, never going to win the next concourse competition or the shiniest bike prize at the next off-road motorcycle show, but this old GM500 of Tom's has been through the motocross wars since it took to the track in 1986 and after almost 35 years of being battered to a pulp, she's still hanging together and being competitive on the track. Although, mind you, these old GM 500s were basically the last chance saloon to keep the Michael name alive and the uh, Michael company up until they went out of business in 1986 had been through the mill with various changes of ownership and a lot of legal uh, family squabbles in the courtrooms. But if you were to research and read all about the famous Michael company, the story uh, certainly contains enough drama and subplots that would uh, make a very decent uh, programme or Hollywood film. But anyhow, uh, back to the bike. Now these uh, old GM 500s were still very good bikes and uh, pretty damn quick with that big 500cc water-cooled uh, two-stroke motor. Now they also had a five-speed gearbox and of course an oil-cooled wet uh, multi-plate clutch. Now the carburetor also was uh, usually a 54 uh, Bing carb, although uh, riders uh, often swap these for other makes to try and improve uh, the fuel adjustment. Now, as I remember, the ignition was also an SEM Motoplat uh, rotor electronic generator type uh, system, and uh, the barrel uh, fuel intake was uh, also fitted with a reed valve block but this was a very good motor by all accounts although it uh, may be not as popular as its 1981 490 uh, air-cooled predecessor but uh, when this engine was running right and everything set properly uh, this 500 could still hustle but of course the conical washers that were used on the old 490 81 engine as clutch springs are now gone on this 86 motor and it uses a set of five conventional uh, springs and bolts uh, to hold all the plates together. But as you can see here Tom's bike has had to have various uh, remedial running repairs done on the frame uh, throughout the years as uh, frame breakages were quite common on these steel tubing uh, chassis and the required almost constant uh, repairs. Although having said that about the chassis, these uh, 500 GM motors uh, were said to put out close to 67 brake horsepower uh, straight uh, from the crate, but if you mucked around with some of the fuel settings and other uh, tuning mods, uh, you could certainly push that figure to the 70 plus mark. Now as I remember, the uh, bike's front forks on these machines were Michael's own uh, fixtures and uh, these were 42mm uh, uh, as I remember and they worked uh, reasonably well for a 86 bike although uh, there were better suspension systems available uh, when it came to the big four Japanese manufacturers. Now because this was uh, 1986, the GM 500s now had uh, hydraulic disc brakes on the front and rear and these were certainly a big step forward from the older uh, drum brakes on the earlier uh, air-cooled Michaels. Now an alloy square box section swing arm, which uh, again did its job quite well on these machines and gave decent feedback to the rider and uh, had uh, minimum flex. 
But gone, of course, are the old uh, twin shock rear suspensions of the older Michaels for this quality uh, single shock Olin's unit, which was fitted as a standard part. And uh, as I recall, it had an adjustable wheel at the end of the damper rod to enable you to do uh, some uh, tuning. Although, as rear suspensions go, uh, these Olin's uh, suspensions uh, were top of the range. And that rear shock was uh, also bolted onto this uh, bottom linkage system which uh, certainly took a lot of punishment if there were big jumps on a bumpy track and uh, breakages uh, weren't uncommon in this area. Now as I remember these old 86 GM 500s were all uh, coloured blue for the European market while uh, they were kept uh, standard Michael Red. Uh, when they were shipped to the likes of the USA. But Tom's added a nice pair of these plastic handguards and uh, maybe just in case uh, one day he may be following an older uh, 81 490 Mega 2 when <laughs> he's sure to get plastered by the trench digging roosters that they produced. <laughs> 